<laughs> Did you just do burpees? That's because you wolf down all your food so quick, isn't it? You just like swallow it, you've got to chew first. Hello, um, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason, this is Andre. This is my little boy. He's camera shy. Actually, he's not camera shy. <laughs> what he wants is this, my ice cream. But you're not having it, because it's mine. This is mine. It's mine. Yes, it is. It's mine. Look at his little belly. Look at his little belly. And there's also some other stuff that he wants. So, good daddy kisses. Oh, good boy. Right. I want to start the video off by saying hello. This is uh, Saturday Jason Chats. He's a handful, it's hard to do anything else when he's... What are you doing? Oh, you want to go to the toilet? I think he needs to go to the toilet. Um, well, maybe not. He's making some weird noises, like he wants to do something. Ah, he's gone. So I want to start the video, first of all, by dimmering the light of the background. So I'll do that quickly. So hopefully... There shouldn't be so much glare on the glasses yeah that should be better good um i wanted to say thank you to a person who sent me a gift for christmas two gifts in fact one for andre one for me um this person asked me not to mention their name so um what can I say? So yeah, it's Britney Spears. It's Britney Spears. Thanks, Britney Spears. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you. That's not Britney Spears. Um, but it is. Um, could be someone famous. Might not be. But um, I've got two gifts. First of all, for me, is a twenty-five dollar Amazon.com gift card, and <clears throat> I was gonna. I'll come back to this in a minute because I've got some, uh, I've got an idea. The other thing is this. Pop and play. So it's, uh, let me see, it's for Andre. So I'm going to open this up. This is also from Mrs. Britney Spears as well. So this pops open like that. It smells quite nice actually. And these balls go inside and it's got two holes there and there where Andre can play thank you very much Andre's gonna love it and I'm gonna get some more tubing because on a packaging it's got a tubing it shows you you can get tubing to go between the holes so that's what I'm gonna get <laughs> excuse me that was an actual sneeze I wasn't wasn't a made-up one it was an actual sneeze which is weird it's a weird one um, so yeah, I'm going to get some tubing to go from one hole to the other. And thank you, of course, for the for the gift card. Um, what I'll come back to that in a minute. So I'm going to eat my ice cream. So um, <clears throat> it's been a busy old week, actually, since I last did a video. Um, you know, Jason Chats vlog, Saturday, Jason Chats vlog.
I have, well, first of all, it's New Year, because I did the vlog on Saturday. It was New Year's Eve, Saturday night. Sunday, of course, New Year's Day. New Year's Day, a good friend of mine broke her ankle. So that wasn't very good. So I've been up and down the hospital visiting her. She didn't just break it. It's uh, she had an open fracture, so she slipped, and her foot ended up twisted around the wrong way. Open fracture with bone through the skin. Um, gross, you know. It's it's horrible and she had two fractures plus a dislocation she's been in hospital since yeah since saturday no since sunday night so she did it at nine o'clock phone for an ambulance and six hours later they they arrived they're very busy when i guess one of the busiest nights of the year i suppose over new year and um because of the swollen, because her foot's been so swollen, she's not been able to have an operation because she needs to have metal plates put in to her ankle. So yeah, she hasn't had the op yet. So it's been a week nearly. Um, was it Sunday, Monday? Yeah, so hope they're thinking hopefully they're about to do an operation tomorrow, but we'll see. Also, last week or this week gone by, I went to the closing party of a comedy club that I was involved in for many years. And uh, a good friend of mine owns the club or did own the club until now when it's closing. And he's had it for 25 years and built it up from nothing to being like really popular and the, but basically the, the the rent went up so the landlord put the rent up from being 120 grand a year to something like 360 grand a year and there's just no way of there was no way they could make any money they cover 360 grand a year is a hell of a lot of money to pay just just for your rent that's without rates and all the stuff that goes with that. So, I had to close. So that was quite quite sad. I went up to London and had lunch with my friend or had an evening meal with my friend in a restaurant. And then we just hung out at the club for the party. It was full of comedians and you know people that have been around for a long time and people that haven't been around very long and some people that I've known for you know twenty odd years as well were there. There was people that I recognised that didn't recognise me. Um, but in all fairness, I did you know I have just shaved my head and. They maybe never see me like that, but I don't know. I think I don't think I've aged too badly. I don't look like I did when I was twenty-one, but who does? Perhaps a twenty-one-year-old, twenty-two-year-old might maybe. Well, I still look the same, but forty-six. Not supposed to look the same, really. So, did that as well. I've increased my videos that I've made. Um, I'm begin beginning to regret it actually, um, because I did a video yesterday, which was an ASMR whisper video, and. 
it was just the first of many. It was in my mind. I'd do a regular one on a Friday. I had all the setup. Took quite a while to get all set up and had the table, the lighting, and the the microphones. Although one of the microphones drooped, which is weird, but you know, so kind of. And I was just basically playing with food, and it wasn't like proper food. Just bits of sweets and stuff. A bit of a biscuit and a Malteser and opening packets and just showing up talking about whispering about a book I used to like to read and you know it's just like a half hour of me just um, playing around really no particular agenda at all um, but I got three dislikes on the video already since last night I was like well actually not since last night since this afternoon since one o'clock when I left here and I've I'm, I'm just got back now about half an hour ago I've had three dislikes I've had five likes and three dislikes I just like oh I hope I haven't upset someone because I mean maybe they just <laughs> didn't like the video I mean don't have to like everything do you um, but I hope that I don't know should I just give it give in on that one and let it go and not bother or should I do more because I've got other ideas of stuff to do and things to play with and I've got better sound quality now than I ever had before um, in any of my other ASMR things I've done in the past which were quite popular that's what um I think that kind of surprised me a little bit because all the other ASMR stuff I've done whisper stuff has been well received let's say um, so now yeah maybe I don't know maybe I shouldn't do anymore kind of you know I don't want to I don't want to put stuff out that people don't like there's no point um, you know what I mean? Just uh, hmm. I just thought that it would be something. Cause I know it's not hypnosis, so I know that um, it's a step to the side of what I'm doing. But the only reason I ever did ASMR stuff is because it was requested, because people said they liked my voice. They liked how I sound and they'd like to you know people they started off first of all people saying could you do uh, like a relaxation session or a sleep hypnosis session but whispering instead of talking because I don't have to put softly spoken because all my videos are softly spoken really um, but you know they said can you whisper so I did it and it was one of the most popular videos I've done at that time so I did some more and then people were asking could I do ASMR stuff uh, you know sort of uh, specific non hypnosis just general generally specific to people to the ASMR community and I thought well why not it's a bit of fun something different um maybe people will come along and they'll discover my hypnosis stuff uh, is useful for them as well as you know the ASMR plus you know the benefits of being able to relax and if, if people can relax and the best way they can relax if the best way they can do that blah 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 if the best way that's for someone to be able to relax for them is by listening to somebody whispering or watching somebody um, play around with sand or ice or I oh, don't want to play around with ice in this weather well, I'm eating an ice cream but it's warm in there I've got the heating on no I haven't heating's not on oh well it's not cold today anyway um, so yeah why not do something like that if it helps people to relax because I'm all for that, I'm all for helping people to feel calmer and all that stuff. I'm a messy eater. I'm trying to 
be eloquent. Um, I'm actually trying to eat up all my cornettos. Well, not they're not cornettos, but they're you know they're kind of like cornettos. I'm trying to eat them up because I'm intending to give give them up completely. So I've got a freezer with a few in, so I'm just polishing them off, as it were. So let me know what you think. One person has, on the actual video, has said, you know, the ASMR video said that they didn't like whispering, which is fair enough. Um, but I just wonder if it's if the consensus is to not do them, then I won't do them. But if most people like them, and most people have watched them like them, then I will continue. Or maybe I'll just continue anyway. Do a few. See how it goes. I just don't want to waste my time doing stuff that's pointless. Um, other than this blog. Or vlog uh, this is just just me just hanging out and chatting but I don't want to do more than one of these a week you know I want to this is once a week it's fine it's just let my let my hair down and uh, just relax and just chat and talk about what's happened in the week and and that's it there's nothing else to it really there's no there's no big game plan connected. It's just, it is what it is, just a video of me talking. But the other stuff I do, like the Chronic Pain Tuesday and the um, sleep hypnosis sessions on Thursdays, they're, you know, that's very focused and it's very specific and it's important. Well, to me, it's important. These videos, just me, just it doesn't matter really what I say. Um, in a sense of there's no there's no goal connected to these videos if I had a goal it would be for Andre to be here the whole time but he's so wiggly it just doesn't doesn't like being in front of the camera I wish you did. But I got a Right, so this is this is where I was going to come to this. I need to save up for <laughs> it sounds weird. I need to save up for some ears. I mean, you first thing you're going to say, well, clearly I have ears. Um they're like bi binaural um, ears. Okay, let me give you the let me give you the the proper name of them. Um, uh, I can't even bother to look it up. But basically, it's it's a thing that people use for ASMR videos they're, they're like really hot top quality um, the best sound and you know you can use little brushes on it and touch them and it's like makes a really really good sound and if I'm gonna do the ASMR then that's what I need to be getting I need to have that equipment but it's uh, was it about five 500 pound so I need more of these or you know I also need to save as well I also need a camera that's going to cost me about 600 pound I 
and that's not even a an expensive camera that's just a, you know kind of the first step in some ways of doing uh, a vlogging camera that isn't a webcam like the one I'm using now as far as microphones go apart from the ear ones I'm okay for those I've got a blue Yeti that I'm using here I've got the two Rode microphones that I use when I do the um, yeah sleep hypnosis Thursdays and also I used the the Rode microphones when I did the ASMR one as well yesterday I used the blue Yeti when I do the Tuesday chronic pain and when I do the Saturday Jason chats vlogs it's just just there you can't quite see it that's one of the other microphones the road my blue Yeti is just here oh it's split So I'm going to I'm going to put this and I've added it to the I already had 17 pounds in there anyway from somewhere else. I didn't even realize that I had that because I've got two Amazon accounts I've got .co.uk and .com most of the stuff I buy is .co.uk because it's UK you know it's it's, uh, things come that way but I can also buy stuff off .com so it just means that uh, it's po possibly going to come from America not necessarily but but either way I can buy stuff from both .com and .co.uk it's all the same company but it's just just the way they work it's some things aren't available on the .com for some reason Plus it's easier, I think, if you live in America to send .com vouchers or whatever. So if you did want to send anything, not not by post, but if you want to, if you wanted to donate, donate is not the right word because I'm, I'm not begging, I'm just letting you know. Because begging doesn't become your... Um, JasonNewland.com, no, JasonNewland at Hotmail dot co dot uk jason newland at hotmail dot co dot uk that's my email address if you want to send an amazon gift card from dot com or dot co dot uk amazon whatever uh, it's the same email address oh excuse me and i can add that towards getting the ears and also the microphone and um, the, the camera as well so it's not really for me because it's for you or for whoever wants to watch the videos in a sense you know if i wanted to buy a gift for myself it would be maybe a bigger telly or i don't know don't, more books i suppose I, I don't know really what i don't really need anything clothes decent clothes would be something that i would get for myself um decent shoes a new brain would be nice. Um, yeah, get some decoration in this place. Get it nicely decorated, and get a tumble dryer. Save money. Put have money in the bank because I've got. I think I've got about five pound in the bank. So yeah, it's not. 
I wouldn't buy a microphone, a microphone for myself. Um, bearing in mind, I've got three plus a webcam. Um, so I don't need a microphone for me, but this it would be for the ASMR community and for making the ASMR videos because the quality of sound would be perfect. I hope. And also getting a webcam, getting a, a decent camera. I'd like a decent camera, but again, it's not for me as such. It's for for the videos, because I'm I'm not going to use it for anything else. It's only going to be for the YouTube videos that I make. So I'm not making any money out of this. It's just I'm trying to sort of reach a bigger audience, trying to help as many people as I can. I'd like to make money out of it one day, somehow. Uh, maybe monetize the videos, but that's a long way off. That's like a good year or two away before I'm gonna be able to do that. And plus I need to have an audience, a big enough audience, because at the moment, I think if I monetized my, ad, my videos on YouTube, I'd probably make about two pound a month, maybe seriously it just that is such a small amount of money so it's not worth it i need to be getting in you know a few million a year a few million not money a few million views a year really before i can start um making any sort of money which will allow me to stop getting benefits so it's a, it's a while off it's a while off um it's fine, I've got 580 videos so far, and I've got, what have I got, 200 and, um, 243, what is it, 243 subscribers, and uh, so yeah, it's still, a, you know, still a uphill, uphill jog as it were so yeah so I've, uh, <laughs> it's quite weird that my last four videos since last week so I've got a Jason I'll give you my stats you can look online anyway so it's not hidden but I'll give you my stats Jason chats Saturday vlog last Saturday um, I had 35 comments 7 likes 110 views um, chronic pain Tuesday which is this Tuesday just gone 52 views 15 comments 7 likes sleep hypnosis which is on Thursday sleep hypnosis weekly number two I had 78 views so that was Thursday night a uh, couple two nights ago 78 views 14 comments 11 likes and last night friday asmr whisper introduction to some of my food i've had uh, 17 comments five year five likes three dislikes 34 views admittedly the comments do include me Talk, answering the comments as well so it's not just other people's comments it's also my comments if that makes sense if someone says oh thanks for the video i say oh thanks for thank thanks for thanking me for the video kind of thing so then there's two comments um i'm hoping it's gonna grow i've I figured out if i can if i can grow by 200 a week if i can gain 200 extra views every week then by the end of the year i'll have i'll be getting yeah i'll be sort of on target for you know, i don't know how many <laughs> i don't know how many but it'll work out um half a million a year or something but that's just based on that one week um that makes sense so so at the end of let's say christmas week 
I'll have, I can't remember, but it's quite a few. Um, but then if you accumulate everything all the, all the previous weeks, it's probably going to be more like a million or, you know, maybe 800,000, I don't know. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping to beat my target, my previous best of half a million by the end of this year for views and also to get more than 3,000 subscribers, which is what I had before. Apparently I had 3,200 subscribers, which I didn't realize till someone reminded me. So my goal, my aim is to get more than half a million views, more than 3,200 subscribers, and just continue to make some fairly decent stuff to improve the quality of the sound and the picture and the video quality to improve the videos. I've got video software, which um, I got for Christmas for myself out of my Christmas money. Uh, again, not really for myself, but for the videos. So I've got Photoshop and I've also got Coral Video Studio, uh, which is uh, so two bits of software, which I've got so I should be able to make better videos, better quality videos, you know, and also get better pictures for the, for the, you know, the videos as well on YouTube. So, and do better graphics and whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that done. Um, just improving everything. I'm gonna, when I get paid next, I'm going to get a book on Photoshop, how to use it, um, and then sort of spend a, a month or so just learning, fo learning Photoshop, and then the following month I'm going to try and learn the video software. So yeah, it's a learning, it's a learning experience. But I just want to, I just want to do my best. That's why. Um, I think when I put the effort in and I get dislikes, it just, it's not so much taking it personal because it was just a video of, of me crumbling up biscuits and just playing around like the one yesterday. I keep going on about it, don't I? But it's not that so much. Everyone's got a right to like or dislike whatever they want to do. And there's a dislike button there for a reason. So people can click it if they want to. It's up to them. It's just I put effort into that. And that's what annoys me is, you know, the amount of videos I've made where I put no effort into it at all. Other than just turn on the camera that maybe was grainy, not very good light and not very particularly good sound and had no complaints. Maybe not that many views either, but it's uh, now that I've got the sound sorted, I've got the um, the lighting's better. I mean, there's still more to be done with the lighting. Um, I mean, my aim, my aim is to get this whole flat kitted out or designed rather for the videos I make. So get some videos, spotlights up there, a bit like for stage really. So the spotlights up there, another one over there and, and just have it so they're already on the walls. Have the microphone, this microphone, so it's behind me. So it's, so it's there above me so I can speak. Um, so I don't have to have it on a microphone stand. Have the two Rode microphones on the wall either side so they're not on microphone stands so everything's kind of off the floor and set up where it needs to be and get some microphones and a, and it may just sort something out of a camera so it's already there always there in the right spot you know that kind of stuff just over the next few years uh, get it all sorted so it's everything's designed to improve what i do to make everything look better sound better and then I can concentrate on the content and really give it more effort 
I'm giving it effort, but I mean just to, to improve the content of what I do. Um, yeah, so that's what I'd like to do. And I'd also like to try and do some videos of Andre. I've got a GoPro video camera, which I've got in the sales. Um, and it's not a new one, but it's a new, new it's new, but it's uh, it's uh, old old version so it's not the GoPro 5 or whatever because that's 500 pound this was uh, I think it was half price and it was just the GoPro L or X or so I don't know whatever so it's probably a few years old probably but it works I just need to get a handle for it so to hold it on um, I filmed Andre earlier and it films okay, but it's a little bit boring filming him here. So what I'm going to be doing is setting up some things for him, you know, like putting him into the the new thing he's got with the balls or um, filming him going in and out of his uh, like tunnel thing that he's got in the hallway, taking for walks and filming him outside playing and trying to climb up a tree or digging into the ground and stuff like that. So maybe do some kind of montage once a week for him or of him um, which I think would be quite cool or I could make a daily video of him just you know 30 seconds or a minute long but I don't I don't really want to get the I don't want to do more than one video a day and I also want to keep a routine I'm trying to get routined myself in my life um, and the good thing about making the videos is they don't even though I, I, I'm released them on a Friday let's say what Thursday or Tuesday I don't have to make them on a Tuesday I can make it you know the week before if I want so if on the Tuesday I'm not up to doing it or whatever it doesn't matter because it's already made and I just upload it so that's going to be the aim that's my aim so I'm going to try to improve everything so yeah that's I want to improve everything that I do I want the sleep hypnosis Thursdays to improve I want every every session to be better than the last one um, I'd like the chronic pain Tuesdays to improve. I'd like to reach a larger audience and help more people, you know? Does that make sense? And that's why I'm doing this. So, I don't know, I, just, I think it's exciting because I, I feel that I come into a new year. Andre? Andre, do you want to come for cuddles? Andre, come. He's looking at me. Um, I can tell what he's just, he's thinking to himself. It's its dinner time, Dad. Where's Mum? Where's my food? It's nearly six o'clock. So it is his dinner time, nearly. I'll get him something in a minute. Come on, give daddy cuddles. Come on. What's that? What's that? What's in there? Look. Let's see if he's going to climb in. You didn't climb in there? Look. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> Look. funny sometimes with new things especially if you've got a smell which everything has a smell but he he really is sensitive to smells and um, I remember I bought you something I can't remember what it was 
but it was a toy. It's like something nice for him to play with. And all he did was sniff it and then just did a big shit on the carpet. Oh, hello. Fuck off, Andre, come here. Oh, look, look. That's the best picture. If that's not the best picture. Look at that, look. Andre, look. Look at that. Look. What's that there? Look. <laughs> look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you out. I'm gonna pull you out. I'm gonna push you out. Oh! <laughs> Ow! Oh. Alright then. He done enough bite me, I tell you. My arms are scratched to bits. I'm scratching and biting me and playing. It's very rough. I found I'm going to leave the balls in the bag because he'll rip the bag open if he wants to get to the balls the same way as he got to his Christmas presents. I'll just rip it open. He'll wait till I'm not about. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'll just do it in front of me. Bless him. So, um,. Yeah, that's it really. I've got nothing else to say. Um, I'm gonna go. Don't need to do a like huge long video every time, but it is once a week though, isn't it? I suppose what I do is different from possibly anyone. I don't know if anybody else does what I do, and it might sound strange. I don't mean the hypnosis necessarily, but just the chatting but not <laughs> with no agenda but at the same time not really a vlog it's kind of not really anything it's um, just like a conversation but yeah, I, don't know. I don't know I don't know if you know what I mean it just feels a bit different feels a bit more natural like it's not Put on it's not there's no pressure there's no I don't have to be anything I don't have to pretend to to be a person or a kind of a person not trying to be you know come across as anything just this is it just me chatting about nothing really I guess eating an ice cream or playing with me polecat Andre whatever really so yeah these are just that's what these are this I don't know why I'm talking about this I just just find it a bit strange really that I do these kind of things yeah it just seems a bit weird but I know people tell me sometimes that just watching these videos relaxes people even when I'm not doing anything, when I'm just talking about visiting a friend in hospital or uh, oh, my social worker came around this week as well and she she's set me up with a bipolar group um, but I've got to wait to hear from them but that would be uh, a small group of a bunch of people talking and discussing bipolar and certain ways to cope and deal with it uh, day to day and so that will be interesting laughing it lasts about 10 weeks so and uh, that'll take me to a spring won't it if that starts at the end of january by spring by golly by spring i want to be slimmer that's my aim. That's why I know I was eating this ice cream. But I'm going to stop eating that stuff. I've stopped eating Coke. Stopped drinking Coke since I last saw you. I haven't had any Coca-Cola at all. Uh, I think for a good five or six days. 
I haven't um, maybe longer. I've stopped taking the pain medication apart from when I need to. I was I was taking it a bit more than I needed. It was uh, and it was unhelpful. So I'm kind of cut down on that. I haven't had much sugar at all. Haven't really had huge amounts of cake. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm lying now. I just realised that I'm I'm lying there because I've had quite a few sweets uh, or candy if you call it candy. But um, yeah, I've yeah I've got through a few bits and bobs and had quite a few ice creams this week. But I haven't had any coke, so that's true. That bit was true. The other bit, I was lying to you. I wasn't lying. I was just being forgetful. But my aim is to move away from that. And I did a video on, I don't know when it was, I think it was Thursday when I did my sleep hyp hypnosis session. And I'm laying back and my belly, I seriously look, it looks like Santa Claus, like belly, it's just, and it's really weird, but I was shocked. For some reason, because when I'm standing up, I don't feel like I'm like particularly fat, but my belly is, yeah, it needs it needs help. So I'm going to lose some weight. I'm, well, I'm going to reduce my belly, whatever it takes. I don't care about losing weight so much because, you know, I'm not not bothered about my weight. It's not a weight issue. It's a it's a fat issue. Um, so I need to reduce the fat in my body. Simple as that, really. Um, I'm not fat. I'm not just fat, but I do have excess fat, which needs to be dissolved and uh, reduced, which I intend to do between now and April. Um, that's it. I promise I'm going to go now. Oh my gosh. Oh. I hope that your new year. Oh. I hope that your new year is going okay so far. It's only been a week. I hope that things are okay. I know that there's a lot of people out there that have had bereavements. And I've had one myself. My granddad died just before Christmas. So his funeral is next week. Or the week after some yeah not this week coming but the week after um it's yes it can be a hard time you know for that stuff happening and it's i do feel it for people um a bit just you know it's no good time for bereavements, obviously, but when it's a, a celebratory time, when everyone else is celebrating, and so I think it's just, it's not just, uh, it's not just the yearly thing, you know, sort of the yearly memorial or, you know, the remembering that that person passed away and it was at Christmas. But it's actually the event itself is a trauma of, you know, having someone be ill and die and maybe come out of hospital and going through town and you've got all these people celebrating and all happy and, you know, shouting Merry Christmas and wondering why you're being miserable when they've got no idea what, what's going on inside your heart. It's a... Uh, yeah, it's a difficult, difficult time. So this week's been a weird one for me. It's one of the weirdest, uh, one of the weirdest beginnings of the year, really, because it's kind of got a mixture of things. You know, I've got a funeral coming up. I've a friend that got seriously injured. Um, luckily, not life-threatening, but it was. 
hopefully not um, life changing either, um, providing the operations, you know, success and everything. So hopefully that should be all fine. But just the other things coming into go, it's sort of interplay. Is you know my benefits are being reviewed. Um, I don't know if I'm going to lose some of my benefits, which will just cause havoc with uh, with my life, really, if that happens. And then, you know, if I've got a bipolar group that I'm going to be going to, um, I'm also putting more energy into the YouTube channel, trying to create better stuff and you know um the closing of the comedy club which was a massive massive part of my past huge part bigger than i could never really explain um first time i went there was back in 1991 in january again january 1991 so 25 years ago i was 20 years old and it was the very first comedy club I ever performed stand-up comedy in. Um, I had done a gig previous to that, two gigs in fact, one was for a competition and one was in a pub. But this is the first proper like comedy club gig. And I was I was awful. It was, you know, I, I wasn't very good at all. But I loved it. I loved it it's like absolutely probably one of the highlights of my life that was that night yeah one of the highlights of my life way better than losing my virginity mind you I've had shits better than that um, my virginity well I lost my virginity it was horrible it was awful um, I was with uh, my girlfriend. That's when I was. I, I didn't actually lose my virginity until 1990. So I was actually 19. Can you believe it? And she was older than me. She was probably about 24, something like that. And she'd already had kids. From a, I think she'd been married. She'd been living in America. She came back to the UK. Uh, her kids were still in America or something. I don't know. I didn't really listen. To be fair, I wasn't. I wasn't that attentive back then. Um, but I really, really loved her. I loved her, I and mean, she was absolutely beautiful. And. You know, I just, I fancied her and I loved her. So at least I can say that I lost my virginity to someone I loved. She didn't love me. Um, although she did want to live with me. But I said no, because I, I decided by then that I was going to move back to London. So I moved away from London again. I decided I was going to move back to London to, to do comedy, which is what I did. So this was during the summer. Of 1990 and I moved to London in 91 January to do comedy and um, so this this lady that I was with the reason it was crap was because of me because um, I didn't know what to do I really didn't know what to do and um, we built up to it as well I mean because you know she, she's older than me and she, I told her that I was a virgin she actually wrote me a letter saying I'd like to take your virginity but I just don't want to hurt you and and I thought what have you got spikes up there or you know <laughs> how are you going to hurt me and um, she's and it was like a sweet letter and I wish I kept it so I could show you but you know, I just like, I thought, well, no, I'll, I'll give it a go anyway. You know, as I loved her and I wanted to, I thought I'd be good at it. I had this idea that I'd be good at sex. 
I was wrong. I was really, really, really wrong. And I don't feel I've ever been really good at it. Um, I'm good at certain things, but let's focus on this bit anyway. Um, Without going into sort of graphic details, you know, I basically, I think I'd practically crushed her. So I was on top and she didn't look very comfortable or happy. She clearly was struggling to breathe. Um, this was consensual by the way, so, you know, it was, but it just I didn't know what to do. I was like, ah, 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 just trying to, um, I don't know. It was it was a bit like I don't know. It it's weird. It felt a little bit like she'd someone in like I was having sex with. human shaped anesthetic bottle you know sort of it's like I just kind of lost all feeling I didn't couldn't feel anything and it might you know maybe it's just because I it could be you know an, anat an anatomical an, an anatomical thing but it's not I don't think it was that so much it was just I think there was really more going on in my head than there was going on in down there. It was more like, oh, um, I wanted it to be good. I wanted it to be special, and but I wanted it. I suppose I wanted it to be good for her as well. <laughs> I wanted it to be special for me. <laughs> I wanted her to, you know, mildly enjoy it. But it was. Uh, no, she went right off men after me. I think I put her off. Yeah. But that was uh, my virginity. Back in probably May, June 1990. A lot skinnier back then. I was very embarrassed about my, my body back then. More so probably than I am now. It's quite weird. I was so. I don't like my body now, but I really didn't, you know, no, I wouldn't want to take off. Like I could, I could happily take my top off like that, and so you can see my chest and my arms and shoulders and that. I could do that. But when I was younger, a lot younger, I would never have done that. I was so embarrassed because I was just bone. I was like skin and bone. It's just, you know, I weighed like nine stone when I, when I was in my early twenties. You know, then I went up to about ten stone when I got to my middle twenties, and then kind of fluctuated a little bit between eleven, ten, eleven. And then when I stopped smoking, when I was 29, boom, went up like two stone or something. And then the rest is just continuous weight gain. Um, but I wouldn't want to be that skinny again. That's the thing. I'd like to have a slimmer waist, but I don't want to be skinny. So it's kind of finding a mid a midway. So I'm gonna try and <laughs> a midway, whatever that is. So I'm gonna just try and get fitter, I guess. Lose some weight. If I can lose maybe a stone off of my, my off of my stomach, that'd probably do it. Um, I don't know if I can get back down to eleven and a half stone, which is my ideal weight. But I did get there before. I got there 
few years ago, like 10 years ago, I got down to about 11 and a half and I was very slim. Was muscular, but slim. So I didn't lose all, all my, you know, my, my muscles or the weight, my shoulders, my chest, my back and stuff was still there. But it was just my stomach was very slim. So, so I'm probably two or three stone to lose if I want to get back to that. Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go now. And I'm going to watch television. That's me done for the evening. I'm not doing no more. Saturday, I visited my friend. Come back. Got a bit of shopping. Then I came back. Played with Andre earlier. Made a video. Moaned about just about stuff and just talked about nothing it's done it's done man so I wish everyone have a brilliant week I would be interested in what you think about the J, you know the what's it the video I did yesterday but it's not for everyone anyway is it it's not not everyone's going to like it it's I'm not really a fan of the ASMR videos really myself I do it you know for other people I'm not I don't watch them myself um, I don't dislike them but I just you know I don't really watch them because uh, that just not doesn't really do it for me I like if I you know so but I want to be able to do it help other people so maybe I might just delete it it's annoying me so I might just delete it anyway we'll see I'll, I'll see what happens I'll leave it for tonight and then tomorrow see how I feel right see you later and have a brilliant week and I hope you're all well thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel my YouTube channel please subscribe and uh, if you like this video please like it and please leave a comment Take care yourselves. And my website is jasonnewland.com. Lots of love.